Do you ever wonder where your milk comes from when you're sitting in the aisle at your neighborhood hen house market? Well, today we're gonna find out. I'm Chef Jasper, and today's spotlight video, we're at Cornelius Farms in Hamilton, Missouri, and I'm with the dairy farmer himself, Sean Cornelius. Sean, I'm very excited this morning. Welcome, Chef Jasper. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thanks oh. for coming up to visit with us today. I mean, well, thank you very much for inviting us. And I'm telling you, coming out here this morning, you know, 5.30 in the morning, when we arrived, you took me right in. I mean, it was time to milk. I mean, your son was out there uh, getting the feed. Yeah, he was, feed, he was feeding the cows this morning. Cows are fed about 5.30 every morning here. And uh, yeah, it was time to get up and get chores. We plan on being milking by six o'clock. So, you know, 30 minutes of prep time. By the time you get everything that's set to wash and clean uh, to convert over and be ready to milk in time, you know, 30 minutes to get the cows in the barn, and get ready to go. I really didn't understand the process beforehand. And I'm kind of glad I didn't because you just don't walk up and hook up and, you know, and start milking. And there's a lot more to it. Absolutely. Well, obviously, you know, stewardship of the cows is our priority, as well as stewardship of the land. Um, I grew up on this farm. I'm the third generation to live here. My house actually sits on the site where my grandfather was born. Oh, wow. Um, having, having that legacy here is super important to me. Well, that's all I wanted to really get into was the, uh, the history of the farm and your family. You're a third generation. Third generation, absolutely, wow. yeah. Uh, the facility that we milked in this morning is, is the second dairy facility on this farm. Uh, my grandfather originally started the dairy farm in the 30s. We were able to milk four cows at a time. It took four hours to milk 50 cows. So uh, as, as I got out of college, decided that I wasn't going to fly airplanes for a living and that I was gonna milk cows after all, we, we built this facility 28 years ago. It's easy for me to remember. We moved into this facility in March after I was married in February. So all I have to do is count off my anniversaries and I know how long <laughs> we've been in this barn. Well, it really is something, you know, to see a family farm. Well, let's talk now about the land itself and where we're at, of course, and what you all do here, because it's not only just milking the cows in the morning. I mean, there's a lot more to it with, you know, growing the feed, et cetera. Sure, well, as we mentioned, I'm, I'm a third generation farmer, but I'm, I'm the oldest of four brothers. I uh, still have one of my brothers, Chris, is still here on the farm. He likes big green equipment, so John Deere equipment, he's happy to run while I take care of the cows. Dad has always said that as long as he could keep Chris and I at least 40 acres apart, he could move a mountain. Uh, anytime we got together, it was, it was a little bit of a referee type deal. Brothers, you know, that's, that's the way that it goes. We are diversified. We farm about 1,200 acres. We grow corn, soybeans, and wheat. Chris is primarily responsible for that. Uh, my son's back on the farm here for a while helping out. I'm just blessed beyond words to have his, to have his help. Well, that is really something because, I mean, to me, that's what it's all about, you know, family farming. And of course, you know, we could talk about that when we serve it at my restaurant, you know, saying, hey, I actually met the farmer. You know, I know what is going on there now. I see what they're doing and the practices, you know, what goes on. Yeah, it makes a di real difference. I absolutely encourage everyone, anytime you have a question about where your food comes from, go to the source. If, if you have a question about dairy, Ask a dairy farmer, come see a dairy farmer, come visit. We'll love to show you how we take care of our cows and how we take care of our land because it's important to our families. It's not because you're not hiding anything. You're open about it. You're, come on in. Here it is. Come on, walk with me. And, yeah, come on know, in. Uh, milk, a, milk a cow. Milk a cow like Jasper did this morning. Okay, so while we were talking in there, all of a sudden I got into the conversation with you about nutrition and Wow, I stood back because there's a lot more to you and what you do and what you know, the knowledge and what you teach people about nutrition with these animals. So I'm, I'm obviously very proud. I identify as a dairy farmer first. Sure. That's where, it's where I grew up, it's what I do. However, um, we were one of two dairy farms in the county uh, back in the mid 80s when I got out of high school. I went to college to fly airplanes, but when it became apparent to me that I was not going to be a corporate pilot as a profession and I came back to, uh, to be a dairy farmer, I needed help taking care of these animals and had a phenomenal regional dairy extension specialist at that point in time that, that really took me under his wing, introduced me to dairy nutrition at the University of Missouri, trained me how to feed cows and uh, started a whole new career uh, as a dairy nutritionist. I tell folks when I'm out and talking, I said, when I go to a dairy farm, 
uh, to help them out with the nutrition of their animals. I sample each individual feed stuff that those animals are consuming. I send it to a laboratory for analysis. I know what the protein content is. I know what the sugar, starch, digestible fiber contents are. I know vitamin and mineral contents of that feed stuff. I then take all those individual ingredients, I put them into a university derived program, and then I balance a diet for that stage of life and productivity for that animal. For instance, these cows that we see behind us today eat about 125 pounds of feed each cow per day. Wow. And I balance that diet to target within one tenth of one pound of balance of what that cow's eating. And then I joke, then I take my kids through the drive through <laughs> I say, so so whose diets are balanced better? But but we don't really do that for the milking cows. We do that all the way from babies all, all the way up through the through the lactating cycle. Well your relationship also with the uh, with the cows, I mean I was shocked this morning when I heard you call over and you said, uh, now come on, pickle. Yeah, now, pickle. I know that's the only pickle. one you call, you have a name for, but come on, you have 90 cows you're feeding, uh, you're milking this morning. Obviously we work with these animals twice a day, at least every day. Well, I'll tell you what, after I left you, I actually went and looked inside the tank, yeah. watching all that milk coming in. Now I'm trying to do the math, you know, I'm saying each cow, what, about 10 gallons? 10 gallons a day. A day? So yeah, 10 gallons wow. a day is on average on what we're getting here. We, we, we sell milk by the pound. So eight, uh -huh. 80 pounds per cow per day is, is a target uh, production level for us right now. And from here, it's picked up. It gets picked up at least every other day. Okay. A semi-trailer comes up, backs up right to the front of the barn, loads it up, and then, then our milk's going to Highland Dairy in Kansas City right now. So any, anybody can go to the store and pick up a Highland product and, and probably pick up some of our milk within that container. I know this today, you said the last couple months of the pregnancy of the cow, the milking cow. Yeah, okay. You put them out the pasture, they get to enjoy those last couple months. We, we talked about dry cows. When you asked me about the overall yeah. number of cows that we have on the farm at the moment, we milked 89 cows this morning. You asked me how many we had. Well, we've got 200 on the farm. Well, obviously there's some cows somewhere else. Where, where are they at? So a cow, the last two months of gestation, the last two months that she is carrying a calf, um, they get a vacation. They get a two month vacation. We turn them out on a nice green grassy pasture. Uh, we do take, still take them feed every day. We see, they'll see them every day. They, they get a kind of a regenerative break, uh, if you will, before they calve in and they come back to work. Well, one last thing I do want to mention, you know, about the cow itself. Now, the types of cows that you have here today, I didn't even get to ask you about that. So we actually have a mix of cows here. Uh -huh. About half our cows are straight Holstein but then we have been breeding our heifers to a Jersey bull for many years. Oh, really? So a lot of the little brown cows that you've seen running around that look like sure. the, the Jersey breed, they're still home raised, but they were a Jersey line as opposed to Holstein. And then, then we've got a mix of the two. I, I call them Hojos, uh, Holstein Jersey cross. Just, just I love it, that. It's a fun little Hojo name, you know? I like that a lot. And they're, they're sweet little animals. Well, I'll tell you what, it's been a great morning here with you today. And you know what, like I'd like to tell all my friends now, you know, you walk through the aisles of the grocery store, you walk through the produce section, you walk through the meat section, but when you get to know somebody and you say, hey, you know, I actually met this person, I actually was on the farm, and now I'm enjoying that product, that makes a big difference. I, I'm excited to be able to bring that confidence uh, to your viewers. You know, get out and, get out and meet the people that, that supply that product and and then enjoy what you have at the grocery store. You know, we've got a lovely variety available of great tasting, wholesome, nutritious foods that we supply from the dairy farm. There is no doubt about it. Well, Sean, thank you so much for having us out today. We appreciate it. And my friends, the next time you're in that grocery aisle and you're looking around and you see that milk, let me tell you something. Now you know where it came from. I'd like to make a little toast. I well, appreciate it. Oh, thank it's you great very to have much. you here today. Come on, does Thanks it get any better right I, now? Th th this is fantastic. Shangri-La.